Another day, another microphone unboxing. Here we have the VQ VM50. Make sure to stick around for the sound test. Roll the intro. The Vigu VM50 is a $50 condenser microphone available on Amazon. The microphone comes with a stand made of pretty solid aluminum and isolating rubber feet. The 6 foot USB A and USB C cable allows it to work with either connection type. It can tilt up and down like most mics. It has a nice profile overall that will add a nice aesthetic to your setup without the added flair of RGB. The ports at the bottom are USB C and also auxiliary for your headphones, so you can monitor your audio. It also works as a connection so you can hear your PC audio as well. Dial on the front controls the monitor volume, and when pressed, mutes the mic. The filter comes off with a few clips on either side of the shock mount. I'd say the design, weight, and quality is pretty high up there for a $50 microphone. It has a modern aesthetic and I think would fit a lot of you minimal and clean people out there. Oh, and if you're interested in other things for your setup, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. That would be electrifying. Oh gosh, that was so lame. Well, plug up those ears, it's time for another sound test. They were comparing the Vigu VM50 with a Fifine A6T. Another great bundle you can grab on Amazon, also for 50 bucks, but comes with a boom arm and RGB, so it'll be a good comparison. We'll do two tests for each mic, one completely dry and unmixed, and another with a compressor, limiter, and noise cancellation. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. Rice is often served in round bowls. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. The box was thrown beside the parked truck. The hogs were fed chopped corn and garbage. Four hours of steady work faced us. The large size and stockings is hard to sell. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days a chicken leg is a rare dish. Rice is often served in round bowls. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. The box was thrown beside the parked truck. The hogs were fed chopped corn and garbage. Four hours of steady work faced us. Large size in stockings is hard to sell. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days a chicken leg is a rare dish. Rice is often served in round bowls. The juice of lemons makes the fine punch. The box was thrown beside the parked truck. The hogs were fed chopped corn and garbage. Four hours of steady work faced us. The birch canoe slid on the smooth planks. Glue the sheet to the dark blue background. It's easy to tell the depth of a well. These days, a chicken leg is a rare dish. Rice is often served in round bowls. The juice of lemons makes fine punch. The box was thrown beside the parked bench. The hogs were fed chopped corn and garbage. Four hours of steady work faced us. Large size and stockings is hard to sell. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Well, this mic has a wider range of sound. You can capture more highs and more lows. This allows it to give up a slightly warmer tone, but the unmixed does pick up a fair amount of background noise, which is easily fixable with some noise reduction software. Yes, this is a good deal. The fact it doesn't come with RGB is actually a huge win in my opinion, since the Fifine doesn't let you disable it without muting. The only downside would be the stand not being compatible with any other stand. Though I did manage to kind of Frankenstein it together since they use a similar shock mount system, and it worked out just fine. Oh, also just an FYI, I recorded this entire video using this microphone. Thanks for sticking around, and I'd love to know which mic you think I should use going forward.